What are you doing to ensure your organization is a learning organization and learns from every crisis, small and large? Welcome to Great Transition Strategies, Monday Morning Standard. Five minutes to get your week off to a great start and potentially give you something to make you a more effective leader so you can love what you do. Every crisis, large or small, has some lessons for us. Are you learning those lessons? I want to give you a story from a Marine Corps story. I was a commanding officer of a squadron, and I had a general officer come visit, give him a tour of the squadron and the aircraft. And he, the topic came up of a mishap that we had several months before. And he says, sometimes I wonder if we truly learn the lessons we need to learn or if we just identify the lessons and we don't learn from them. Do we just identify the lessons or do we learn from them? Think about your organization. Are you an organization that learns the lessons it needs to from whatever crisis you have, be it a large crisis or a small crisis? Are you learning? Are you a learning organization? So let's talk about that here today. In any organization, and as we talk about that in your organization, think about you and your leadership role. Think about the team that you lead. Think about the organization that team is in and think about the industry. And think about your last crisis. Large. Did you learn the lessons? You could probably identify, oh, this is what the problem was. Did you truly learn the lessons? If not, that, that means you had just identified it. Did you learn the lessons? If not. Now think even small with your team. What are some small crises you might have gone through? What were the lessons? Did you learn them or did you just identify them? I'm going to give you another, let me give you an example of, I think the Marine Corps is really good at this. We're good at learning lessons and, and making sure things get better. In the aviation world, if something's wrong with a procedure, there's some flight safety, there's a piece of equipment, there's something not working right in the airplane, you submit a, this is a problem. This is what we think the problem is. And then people start working on it right away. And then every six months, there's a conference that comes together. The experts, the aviators, the operators, the maintainers, the budget folks, the safety folks, and talk about it. And as changes, the immediate ones get before the conference get, get disseminated. But now the solutions get disseminated to the entire community. There's changes in publications, procedures. The whole community has them. We've learned the lessons. We've identified it, and we've learned the lesson. So what about you? What was the last crisis that you had? And did you just identify it? Did you, do you have a process that's going to make, make it work? I'll give you another example. Another example is I was, after I was done with the Marine Corps, in an organization, we have to do these evacuation drills on a regular basis. First one we do, I'm there a couple months, we do it. After it's done, come back and say, well, where do we meet the debrief? Well, we don't debrief these. Oh, yeah, we're going to debrief these. Come back in the conference room, we debrief. What did we want it? What was the plan here? And what went well? What didn't go well? And then we built that process into every one of those, every one of those drills we did. Building a culture of learning the lessons each time. It worked. Now, I'm going to give you an example to think about. Last, last example here. In Marine Corps Aviation, before you fly, you plan your flight. This is our mission. This is what we're going to do. Here's how much gas we have. Here's how long it's going to be. You plan it. You brief it. You fly it, you debrief it. I think that's analogous to in the private sector as you plan it, you communicate it, you execute it, you debrief it. Do you have a debrief process to be able to go through and take a look at what you have done? That debrief process, when you're done with that debrief, if you are able to take those lessons on board and truly internalize them and learn them, you're building a culture of learning and being good at critiquing yourself. You now, if you're learning that, you're a learning organization, you're preventing smaller crises. Learning from those smaller ones prevents the big ones. You might never have that big one because you're learning the small ones. It's a culture that you're trying to create. So think about you. You think about crisis leadership. This is learning how to solve the small ones and building a culture of being critical and making yourself better on the way can prevent that large crisis from ever happening. Thanks for listening. Hope you found that helpful. See you next Monday morning, 8.30. Have a great week.